All right, so check this out. So check out this video of Lavara Ball buying Lamelo Ball a Rolls Royce before getting drafted by the Charlotte Hornets. What? Man, tell him to turn around and face it this way, dog. Oh, stop on him, dog. Put my feet in the meat, baby. I gotta get it. The Ball family made it for real. Like, I actually rate what LeVar Ball did and the way he molded his kids into becoming NBA pros. And of course, LaMelo and Lonzo's case. But when it comes to Leangelo, good luck on your rap career. Because they ain't no fucking way Leangelo Ball is making it to the league. Sorry to tell you, he's a 6'5 shooting guard with limited handles and limited athleticism who plays like he's Joel Embiid. But the issue is, is he's 6 feet 5 inches tall, so no. But the route he took his sons into getting into the NBA, especially LaMelo, was eye-opening to see because he basically told his sons, fuck high school and just focus on ball, which of course worked out. And also, let's not act like every athlete is doing that anyways. You really think that when LeBron was 16, he was studying algebra and trig identities? and fucking mathematics when he knew in all likelihood basketball was his dream job and he had a 99% chance of making it or even Zion Williamson when Zion Williamson was at Duke he was not studying like get the fuck out of here when Zion Williamson was at Duke he had tutors with him where they would have tell him the answers or do or he would do like easy assignments that a 12 year old could do like let's be real Imagine ESPN marketing Zion with ESPN paying millions of dollars for ads centered around Zion playing and hearing that Zion won't be participating because he failed a test? Get the fuck out of here. Zion brought Duke hundreds of millions of dollars, maybe even billions of dollars. They will not give two shits if Zion got an A or an F on an assignment when he's bringing in that much money. But don't get me wrong. If the fucking ninth man on the bench does that, boy, you buy, you're gone. Now, my point is that LaVar knew school was a waste of time, so he just let his son focus on basketball and take him overseas where he could do such that. But I actually think that LaMelo will be a better basketball player than Lonzo because LaMelo can create for himself in a half court situation, unlike Lonzo, where Lonzo is amazing at full court transition, but when it comes to half court sets, he's trash. And the difference between Lamelo is that Lamelo can be his defender in one on one situation in the half court situation, especially. But I know Lamelo's jump shot is whack. Like it was whack in Australia. <laughs> he shot lower percentages, but hopefully he improves that. But if he doesn't, he can for sure be a six nine version of Rajan Rondo with being able to break down the defense and create for others. As a side note, dude, where were you in the draft? Because there was only like one player that was drafted from Duke. Seeing after the Zion Williamson incident, where you guys got caught allegedly paying Zion, you guys stopped breaking bread with college recruits. Yo, once Duke's allegedly stops paying these athletes, they're just like all the other institutions now. The fuck? If Duke can't pay these athletes, allegedly I should say, pay these athletes, Zion would have just stayed home and allegedly gone to South Carolina. Yo, RIP Duke. They had a good run. Or they're going to find a new way to cheat and allegedly pay these athletes. They're just taking a break right now. I get it.